wasn't very nice, bullying me like that. Uh-oh. Don't you watch the old horror vids? There's no way we killed it. It's here, trust me. Hiding? That's what I want to do right now. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... I don't recall the human penis ever being that large. Eight, have you been in the men's hats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. Wait. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us. Oh, I found it! Blast it with her radio beams already! Oh? Oh, yes. I'm not going to bother correcting you. At least you got the doctor part correct. I can be grateful for that, at least. Oh, really? You have their tech on your arm. Yeah, eight. no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh, after that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. What, like, stuff? Things? I don't know. Might be some old Nuka-Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's not currency, per se. Still might be enough to trick the sink's trade routines. Uh, Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. All right, all right, here, cap away. Hope that stupid chip chokes on them. Fine. It's not going to help. That chip will probably refuse them anyway, as stuck up as it is. Why don't you make the lobotomite a bottle cap factory, Klein? Or better yet, give it a ton of things to activate the chip. No, wait, you don't need to fill up the emitter again, really. Klein means things for trade. Display for trade. All right, let's consolidate. There's got to be some junk around here. Magazines, useless, more caps, medicinal supplies, useless. Here, spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. We're smart. Smarter than we give ourselves credit for. I was smart enough to talk to you, give you a chance, and now look what happened. Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh, vivisect me, please. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. Did... did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant. I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, uh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. The make a zero in all the think tank. They won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking? What a primitive form of thought kicking. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. Are you coming on Mentats right now? Oh, of discovery, my reflective posterior. Hmm. Well, actually, now that I think about it, that's not bad. Oh, look what I found. Oh, Dalla, it's holotape, not holodisc. Hmm. Maybe that's not so bad. All works. I gave me some much-needed motivation. Great. Psychology. Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after colostodiuretics. Okay, so my name is an O. Never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. And it might help if you left me alone. Why are you even talking to me? If I need any bonding, I'll go find two ionized molecules to smash. What about it? 
I don't feel like arguing it with you, too. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. I might as well take Dalla up on that self vivisection competition. Forget this. It's like talking to Klein's rear shell. What? I might as well take Dalla up on that self vivisection competition. Forget this. It's like talking to Klein's rear shell. What did accomplishments ever do for us? Please. Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. Oh is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derisses my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at this. Just, uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I, uh, discovered more internal parts in the monitors here. If you could, uh, hold on to my discovery, I'd appreciate it. Oh, do I? <laughs> hmm. Oh, do I? Sounds like a song lyric. It's a discovery. Kill a miles beyond your understanding that... You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors, and those innards start falling out everywhere. If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. I'd have a few left. Let me check. You sure are testing that personality chip thoroughly. All right. This debugging obsession of yours really has you hooked. <laughs> Either that or this is one weird hobby. Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Sure, let's see. What can we feed that stupid personality chip? Ah, here we go. Some worthless bottle caps. These should do it. Just dump them on its surface, then the trade interface should pop up. I have no idea. I'm a robotical engineer, not a... rememberer of archaic trade routines. Yeah, I, uh... discovered more internal parts in the monitors here. If you could, uh... Hold on to my discovery. I'd appreciate it. Fine. Um, are you sure we've calculated all the combat probabilities here? I mean, the lobotomy confronted Mobius. Plus, you know, we haven't had a C-O-M-B-A-T drill in forever. I don't think we could form a tactical attack triangle if we wanted to. Fine. Uh, you know, this lobotomy, it's a great sounding board. You respect ideology, right? This one's, well, it's got good ideas. You know what, Klein? Stick a straw in your tank and suck yourself. Long and deep. And you know what? I don't like the way you say my name. Never did. It's O, as in O. Oh, look what I stepped in. I'm proud of it, all right? And my name is Zero. Yeah, a big, fat Zero with a slash through it. The lobotomy taught me that. Taught me a name is more than, um, that I should take pride in things like names. And you know what? Forget it, Klein. I hate you. And your theory of Bringle Beam Oscillation? The Chinese had it first, you copycat. Silencing opinionators. <laughs> Worry about house? Why would I do this? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. And him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. <laughs> Worry about house? Why would I do this? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. And him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? <laughs> Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? Two other human specimens. One arrived not long after the troublemaker. And the last one, not sure when he showed up, thought the first one was going to be lobotomized in Y-17. She got out somehow. The last subject, Klein might know more. He talked to him and let him leave the think tank. Hope he knew what he was doing. This human... I can't believe it. He broke out of the think tank in seconds. Then he went for Yangtze, got bomb collars, and started practicing on the subjects that were still there until he got the right frequency. We were sending robots to stop him, and he was slicing and cutting through their shells with some souped-up laser gun like they were cheese paper. When he hacked into the mainframe, A tried to stop him and got fried. Me? He rerouted my processors to take control of the train network here. If you see the tunnels with the trains plowed into them, you can thank our visitor for that. He wrecked the whole place. 
While we were trying to keep containment on the surface, turns out he used one train to punch out a tunnel and escape. Sealed now. But that genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Tried to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every. Time. Supposedly, he has even larger models, even a giant robot scorpion, hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, right. Giant monsters. Sure. Fine. Ask. Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? Climb those things we don't. And I think you told some of those things to the last visitor. Dangerous things that they ever got out. All things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that way. Deconstructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning state. Yeah, I do. It wasn't always, oh. I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. Oh, really? Now the lobotomite is a master of the dictionary arts. What, do you have a doctorate in verbology? No? I do. And Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a slight mishap. Now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried. Now it's exposed to the sky. Don't get me wrong. It makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra. So soothing. Who asked you? You just wait until a working machine threatens you, and you'll wish I was around. Oh, congratulations, you've succeeded. What, you come to humiliate me? Tell me how I've yet to find a means of stopping Mobius and Scorpions? Or better, ask how progress is going on Securitron construction at the plant. We've had setbacks in research is all. That's all. And how dare you bring Rob Kotek in here? What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are? Oh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses of Big Mountain can make, and they'll last a thousand years. Uh, you're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. <sighs> Damn Robco. Stop the presses! Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Robco tech on your arm? It is! What's your agenda bringing that in here? I don't like to talk about it. Eight, he can't talk about it. They fried his voice module. Something good. It wasn't all the visitors, though. Only one of them got out of control. He's the one that took control of little Yangtze, our old human farm. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um, they, well, move sometimes, or get buried, or blow up. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. What? Ask the lobotomite for help? Eight, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. Yes, Dr. Klein, what? It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands, and uh, a heartbeat, sort of, and eyes, mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Attention, Attention lobotomites! Do, Do not, not neglect, neglect to wash the walking, walking eye. eye! If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Yeah, we don't come into your lab and decant your solutions. Right you are, eight. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. Uh, experience. Nobel. Challenge. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. In one of his stupid labs. Or inside one of his stupid pets. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. That only happened once. And I know you were behind stealth fielding my lab keys, Dalla. You formographer. Plenty of rewinding already going on in your formography tapes. Surprise the things don't snap out of their cases with repeated observations. Oh, uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. You're always yelling! My receptors can't take it anymore! 
And neither can my feelings. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated, you little teacher's pet brown hound. Oh, I don't think so. Wait, I think he's sunjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. Ding. Turkey's done. Oh, I don't think so. Attention, Big Mountain! There's a 95% chance of clear skies interrupted with artillery fire. The Uncanny Valley Research Center has been cancelled until further notice. As in, until someone notices it. We are reading increased levels of berserkity and securitrons from the deconstruction plant. Force fields can only be disrupted by a specific frequency. If anyone has found the frequency, as seen around X8, let the dome know at once. Do not approach the pylons. Pylons are the glowing things. Also, do not approach a fallen pylon. If you see a fallen pylon, call security. Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. I think Watts manufactured hollow discs. Or was it hollow tapes? You never can keep those two straight. Anyway, we're out of small energy cells. Dala, you have some? Why do we... Actually, never mind. I don't even want to know. And no, I don't want to handle your batteries. Just pass them on to the lobotomite yourself. Are you echoing what he said, or are you asking for real? We can give it Mobius' old room. That's where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal. Eight says, let the lobotomy take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomy, feed it, barter with it for us. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Increase to maximum brainial beam vibration. Focusing my pain lens. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Remember that time I suggested we get bodyguards? Yeah, that would have been nice, huh? What in the biologic fuck was that all about? Remember that time I suggested we get bodyguards? Yeah, that would have been nice, huh? I am so going to attack this target with my weapons. I don't even know what my weapons do. Oh my! That's what my attack protocols feel like. Let's gang up on it! Guys? Anyone? If we scare it, maybe it'll give up. Oh... My name was Dr. Zero, not O. S Zero. My self-preservation routine is circumventing my aggression protocols. My coward is programming. It's kicking in. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Breaking news. Talking lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here, impossible. Ah. <sighs> Predictable. The lobotomite specimen returns. Its purpose? Repetition. Chances of success? High. So as Mobius is twisted as he looked in person. Can't believe you entered the Forbidden Zone and lived. None of us can. Any new research? Finds an impatient man. Wouldn't keep him waiting. Stop hovering. I mean, if you want. Ugh, I don't understand how you can stand those leg things. Thanks for helping us. Don't get a big head or anything, even if I am insanely jealous. Not the monitors! Or the shell! Take my lunch money! Take it! Ooh, you're making me mad! Guess we can go back to our rooms and lock the doors now, huh? The infiltration program in X-13 continued to scan for the subject and the stealth suit prototype long after the test was over. Frustrated and unable to find its lost technology, X-13 expanded its network of laser tripwires, sensors, and robo-brains out across Big Mountain. This glittering blue light-beam forest cleanly bisected anything that entered its depths, slicing them into small, segmented parts for easy disposal. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. 
it realized not long after, the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. It became a reality, a withering form of nostalgia for times long past. Five by five. Someone's, Someone's coming in line. line. Ten? Ten? Boros? Why the hell did you install an atomic core? It'll blow when we reach one, right? Mobius? Uh, three. As in we. As in we are in trouble. That didn't rhyme.